Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Farron, your fashion guru, and today we are going to be doing something a little different. We're going to be learning how to sew Joey pouches. Unless you've been living under a rock, you may have heard that Australia is on fire. Animal Rescue has put out a big call out for skilled, talented people like us, sewers, even the beginners, to make a super simple Joey pouch for all the orphaned kangaroos out there. So come with me, sew along, and let's get started. So this is my fashion studio. My name is Farron. In the midst of catastrophe, where you feel like you have no hope of ever helping Australia, there was this beacon of light, this Facebook group called Animal Rescue Craft Guild, where they're looking for sewers to help them make these little pouches for joeys. I went on the Facebook group and I downloaded the PDF of the Joey pouch, which we're gonna be making today. There is a lot of information on the Facebook group. Um, so read all of the information, digest it, and watch this video. They do suggest to not buy any new fabric, which I also recommend. Any knits and things, so like t-shirts on the outside are fine. Inside has to be 100% cotton, linen, um, or silk, okay? So all natural fibers against um, the body, so that would be on the inside liner. I printed out the pattern, I cut it out, pasted it all together and cut it out. I have already cut out my pieces for my upcycled fabric here. So we got that going on, pre-shrink everything, wash it, and then iron it and get it ready to go, okay? If you wanna know more about how to prep your fabric and how to cut your fabric, check out these videos right here in this corner and I can help you out with that. Something important to note for the patterns, they do not include seam allowance or hem allowance. So you have to read the instructions to know that the seam allowance is a half inch. Obviously, um, that's pretty standard. The hem allowance, I think I gave about an inch and a half, like a good uh, width because they, they need something like stiff to roll over and anyways. An inch and a half for hem allowance. All right, they also suggest for every pouch that you're making to make two or three extra liners for the inside. This is good for the carers because they can just throw them in the wash and then just replace it with a, a new liner. So let's get started with um, the out, the outer pouch. So here's what we're gonna do. This fabric actually doesn't make a difference whether you sew right sides together or wrong sides together. The seam allowance doesn't have to be French seamed, but I don't have a serger here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna French seam this thing anyway. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. Here we go. We're gonna stick this under the machine at a quarter inch seam allowance, okay? A disclaimer. I would like to apologize for the noise that my machine, my new machine is making. So we're gonna try our best with the audio. So quarter inch seam allowance. And what you do is you put your needle in. So back tack every stitch, beginning and end, all the way around until you get to the end. From there, after you've sewn all the way around at a quarter of an inch, you trim this down approximately an eighth of an inch. So half of that seam allowance, you clip all the way around your little bag here. Okay, you don't really need to see the whole thing now, do you? Standards are right sides together. But when you're doing a French seam, you put wrong sides together. 
and stitch all the way around and then clip and then and then turn it around and then stitch again. So this is what we're doing. We're turning this guy right sides together now and we're gonna stitch all the way around to enclose the raw edge on the inside, okay? So now that your seam allowance on the inside is an eighth of an inch, we're going to be sewing this at a quarter of an inch. Ideally, you wanna iron your seams down because it is helpful. Um, if you're working with kind of a very fluffy fabric. If not, your cotton is usually pretty forgivable along with linen, so you can finger press it. Just, just stitch it, okay. Anyway, we're gonna, we're just gonna stitch this thing. Mm -hmm. Can you hear me over the super loud machine here? Okay. Cool, and we're back. Now, what we do is we turn down a hem. It's really easy. You just turn and then it's a double turn hem, okay? You can stitch it at one inch. I like a nice big old hem. Who doesn't like a nice big old hem? Stick that under there. Oh my God, this is so cute. So cute and reversible. I love it. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Flip it to the right side. So this will be the outside of your outer pouch. Okay. Done. Done. And all your seam allowance is on the inside. It's been clean finished with a French seam. Anyways, okay, let's get on to the lining. You know, it's exactly the same operation. What you're doing is you're putting the wrong sides together because we're making a French seam here, okay? Especially for the liners, you want them to be durable as well as all clean finished, okay? So here we're gonna be doing a French seam again, sewing it a quarter of an inch. Back tack and go. So now what you do is again trim it down an eighth of an inch seam allowance, going all the way around your pouch. Make sure to clip those threads, those loose ends and flip it over right sides together. All right, so now that you got your right sides together, you gotta stitch at a quarter of an inch again. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Roll your hem allowance down. In the instructions, they actually tell you to make a few stitches all the way around your hem allowance at this point. I like stitching it from the right side and going inward so I can at least see my hem allowance, okay? So I'm going to start at a quarter of an inch. I'm rolling my hem allowance down approximately one inch. So there we're gonna be putting our needle in and stitching at a quarter of an inch all the way around and then going down one row by a quarter of an inch. Your presser foot is approximately a quarter of an inch. So use your presser foot as a guide to um, even out your stitches, okay? Okay, when you've completed that line of stitching, and you back tacked, you bring up your needle and just move it down the width of your presser foot, okay? And this is what it looks like. That's what it's called, rows of stitching uh, that are evenly spaced out. It's called trapunto stitching. 
There you go, take that for whatever it's worth. Now that you've finished your rows of stitching, <laughs> turn your hem down so it encases the raw edge. And then just stitch right at the edge, which is an edge stitch, uh, to finish your hem. You did your hem. Good for you. That means you're basically done. What you do now is flip the bag so the right side is on the inside because this lining is gonna go on the inside of the outer bag, okay? So that goes in like a little sock, okay? Here, like that. Oh, don't forget, like me, look at that. You don't want those joeys chewing on those loose threads and choking. Now that you got that going on, you got your bags. And then you just fold that little thing. Oh my God, look how cute that little pouch is. A nice little joey. It's gonna look very cute and snuggly in there. I mean, if I had a bag like this, I would jump right in right now. So now that you're done your pouch, Take a look back at the Facebook group for where you can send your pouches to Australia. They have many different hubs, locations that you can send these pouches to. If you have any questions, you can ask me here or you can go to the Facebook group yourself. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Ciao for now. When you're stitching your line of stitch, stitching your line of stitch. <laughs>